Is it simple to install CCTV? This is the usual question I get from customers. Well, the answers are yes and no. Yes, if it is just a house with two to four cams needed to install. Usually, the locations are gate, parking, perimeter of the house, living room, and important rooms like baby's room or playroom. It is also a yes if your business or office has a simple layout like barber shops, dental clinics, small grocery stores, payment centers, drug stores, and tailor shops. On the other hand, it is also a no if it's a house or a mansion with two floors and up, warehouses and buildings. They have a complicated layout of conduit and they require conduits like PVC pipes, EMT pipes, IMC pipes, or GI pipes. Let us not talk about complex layout installation. Let us go back to the easier one. Let us complete all the items needed before teaching you how to install. You need the following. First is the digital video recorder or DVR. This is where the videos are processed and stored. The DVR's lowest resolution in the market today is 1 megapixel. Fortunately, DVRs today are backward compatible, meaning if you have old CCTV cameras and still working fine, yet you want to add more cameras, you just need to upgrade the DVR, no need to replace the old cameras. Moreover, I suggest to buy DVR with 1080p resolution since prices between 720p and 1080p have a slim difference, yet there is a big difference in the resolution. Second is the hard drive. You cannot buy any hard drive that is available and cheap in the market. You need to buy a hard drive specifically designed for CCTV. It should be at least the Skyhawk of Seagate and Purple of Western Digital. CCTV hard drives are designed for hotter or longer usage while using less power compared to standard desktop hard drives. They have lower RPMs compared to 7200 RPM of desktop hard drives. Third are the CCTV cameras. Like the DVR, I do not use a 720p or 1 megapixel camera. I only use 1080p or 2 megapixel resolution camera since the price difference between them is slim but the resolution has a big difference. 1 megapixel is equal to 1 million pixels while 2 megapixel is 1,920,000 pixels. Another difference is their aspect ratio. 1 megapixel has 4 is to 3, while 2 megapixel has 16 is to 9, which is a wide screen type view. To summarize, 2 megapixel has finer pixelation and faces are clearer compared to 1 megapixel. Fourth is the cable. For beginners, I suggest built-in cables will be used. This cable is ready to use with 10, 20, 30, and 40 meters at its length. There is no need for splicing with these cables. BNC and DC connectors are already in place. However, I suggest putting some protection like plastic moldings when installed inside and PVC orange pipe when installed outside since the cable is thin compared to other types of cables. The fifth is the power supply. I recommend using at least 1 ampere or higher. The requirement of the camera is less than 1 ampere. However, the problems occur when the distance of the camera is far in the infrared of the camera at night. The camera will work but you cannot get the maximum capacity of the camera if it has low power. Sixth is the monitor. The usual size I use is a 15.6 inch LED monitor. Though it is small, it is enough for 2 to 8 camera. If you do not want to buy any more monitors, you can always use your existing TV in the master's bedroom, the place which I always suggest to my customers. By the way, the DVR has two outputs, BGA and HDMI, meaning it is compatible with your old monitor with BGA port and any latest white TV with HDMI port. Now our items and materials are complete. On the next video, 
I will explain to you the basics on how to use the CCTV. Before the video ends, my question for you is, is CCTV a necessary equipment on every home and why? Hope to see you in the next video. By the way, if you have suggestion on future topics, feel free to suggest. Thank you for watching.